What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Loveland, Colorado, which is just north of Denver, Colorado. First time in Colorado, by the way. Love it, this place is beautiful. But I'm at the Overland Expo Mountain West. It's the first time they've ever held this event in Colorado. Of course, they have the West Coast one in uh, Arizona, and then they have the East Coast one in the Carolinas. And this is the first one in the middle of the country in Colorado. So here I am, super excited. Can't wait to get in here and look around. I'm here for three days and I feel like a kid in a candy store. I'm so excited because I haven't been to a show like this in almost a year since uh, 2020, since everything shut down. So we're back in business. It's 2021. Let's go check it out. Looks like Mercedes of Loveland, Colorado is representing hard, man. Look at this. They got Mercedes vans all over the place out here. Look at all these vans. Look at that. They got all kinds of nice spinner vans out here. So here's something I've never seen before. This company called Redtail Overland, which is right here in the Denver area, local. They got a rooftop tent with hard-sided walls, which I've never seen before. And on top of that, it's carbon fiber. That's not a wrap. That's actual carbon fiber, so it's super tough. And they also have insulation in the walls. But you can see uh, it's got little windows. So here's something I guarantee you've never seen before. This is the first time you've ever seen it right here on my channel. Rooftop tent, right? You're in your rooftop tent, you're sleeping, and you want to get out of Dodge. For whatever reason, I don't know, you just got to move. But you don't want to get out. There's an emergency escape hatch right there. Oh, look at that, we're getting demoed too. She's coming right through the hatch, right inside the vehicle, and you are out of here. That is so cool. Don't even have to open the doors. See that? First time right here on my channel. <laughs> is that cool or what? Yeah. Yeah. That is so awesome. See? That's what I love about coming to these shows. You see things you've never seen before. It's got hard doors, so when the wind's blowing, you don't have to worry about it flopping around. It's got a solar panel out here. So you could essentially just go off grid and power yourself up. It's got tons of solar panels. Man, that is nice. Lockable doors. So that's the thing with these tents, you can't lock them. It's another thing. And then uh, you got tons of room up there to change clothes if you have to stand up. I see LED lights up there. Of course, like any of the rooftop tent, you got your bedding you can keep in there. Pillows and blankets. It's got like a little, like a truck door in the back with a window. So it kind of keeps the water and the off you if it's drizzling. That's cool. So big question, how much does something like this go for? I know it's pricey. It's pre it's, it's premium. So it starts at 195. 195. Our goal is to sort of be the teardrop you don't have to tow. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's a good way to think about it. Yeah. yeah. You get all the comforts of a teardrop because it's hard sided. But Pure, heater, all that. But it's on the top of your vehicle instead of towing in the back. That is cool. Uh, Scott Taylor? Scott and Bill. Bill, they got something that I I've seen tons of trailers, but I've never seen anything quite like this. Let's just geek out and talk about it. What is it? Yeah, so this is uh, the Mammoth uh, trailer, the HV model. Um, we uh, we uh, build airplanes and we got into the overland business and uh, you can tell, so it's all Yeah, aluminum. the rivets. Yeah, yeah. just like on a, an airplane, <laughs> you got yeah, those yeah. rivets. It's, it's all aluminum. Uh, uh, it only weighs 1,650 pounds super light um, r5 insulation it's uh there's zero wood in the whole thing um it's uh sealed up super tight on the inside if you look it's a monocoque construction mm -hmm. um like an aircraft it's got timbrin 3500 standard let me uh, get a shot of that here real quick there's the timbrins i've seen those yeah those are like some of the best out there uh rock sliders come standard like this oh, is yeah. all uh, yeah. included in the price the price is 225 Everyone comes with a 100 hour AGM battery. Everyone comes with a uh, solar hookup, uh, solar controller, 
We have a thousand watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. Pure sine inverter that comes standard, like that's just included in the price. Nice. Um, BFGs are standard. Um, and then you come around to the back here. Um, so we did something a little. Here's um, another thing I've never seen before. I've never seen this. Out kitchen. Yeah. Um, That's and, cool. And the idea was I, I got I got a big family, yeah. so I'm always like having prep area for hamburgers and stuff. So I wanted to have a good workspace. The refrigerator comes standard as well. That's included in the price. Um, so you got water. You have instant hot water that's included. Um, oh, on demand, nice. Yeah, on yeah. demand. Propane here. You got your little shower thing here, so you can uh, take a shower in here. Nice. And it comes with a cassette toilet as well. Wow. Um, and that's all for the price of twenty two five. Nice. Um, the roof rack, so you can see, like it's really versatile. It's five hundred pounds uh, dynamic. So the roof rack comes with it too. The roof Included. Rack comes with it. Oh, nice. The awning the doesn't. Yeah, yeah, the rooftop tent's an option, but the awning is standard. Okay. Um, uh, you can put five hundred pounds dynamic, thousand pounds static uh -huh. up there. Let's take a look in here. So it's bigger than a king size bed. Um, and the way we got it set up right now, so uh, you can actually sleep this way if you want, or you can sleep this way. You can sleep three adults in there, no problem. <laughs> so that that's another thing that's different I'd never seen before is how wide. Yeah, it, that it, is. It, it, and again, that so, is so uh, cool. I, I I always joke this is the love letter to my wife. <laughs> um, so she likes overlanding, but we have a Bernese Mountain Dog and a Doberman. You need room, and we yeah. need room. <laughs> so. Um, and you can see I'm not like the smallest dude in the world. You got a bunk bed uh, here, and it's not huge. Uh, like, I got gear thrown up there, and that's typically what it gets used to. But a dog or a small kid can stay up there as well. Nice. And then you can get your cabinets. These little hard cases come standard as well, and they're lockable if you want to lock up valuables while you're not at camp. And then your control panels over here. Uh, so a fan comes standard as well. We, we call it one core one. Mm. So it's one layer of uh, 040 aluminum and it's 6061 T6 aluminum. Mm -hmm. Then we have R5 insulation and then another layer of 040. Um, you can kind of see the thickness right here, huh? Right there yeah, in the window. Yeah, you can see it right at the window there. Yeah. And these are, well, let's see, um, yeah, what they, was that? The, Lexan or something? Uh, acrylic? Yeah, acrylic. It's basically what's on an airplane, right? The same stuff we use on airplanes. Very cool. Check this out. There's something I've never seen before, and I've seen a lot. At first, I thought this was a Toyota minivan from Japan, but it's actually not. <laughs> this is a Mitsubishi Space Gear four-wheel drive minivan. Turbocharged four-wheel drive minivan. <laughs> and it's been kitted out. That was pretty cool. They put some type of aftermarket bumper. I'm sure this is all custom, because... You just don't see these vans very often. Got a lift kit. Got some BFGs, winch, all the usual stuff you need to go off road. Light force lights. But yeah, that is cool. I've never seen one of these. Of course, the doors open on the opposite side because this is a Japanese vehicle. There's the scoop for the turbo. And there's the Mitsubishi badge. That's pretty awesome. Right hand drive. I'm guessing this is called a space gear because that's what the badge says in the back. I've never seen one before. The doors don't slide open on the uh, on the right hand side because this is supposed to be a car used in Japan. There's the uh, right hand drive steering wheel. Front runner racks up top. The racks go the full length. You got some uh, max tracks or something like that, recovery tracks, and awning. But yeah, that is badass. I like it. Let's see if we can take a look in the back here. I don't want to get in the way. It's got beefed up bumpers back here. It's got water carrier, spare tire, full size spare. See, look, it says space gear, and then some Japanese writing. That's pretty cool. I like how in Japan they use mirrors. They don't even have backup cameras, at least back in the old days. They just put a mirror. <laughs> That's cool. 
All right, so this is for all you guys that don't have any room to spare, none at all. You don't have room for a bucket, you don't have room for anything. This little thin little package still gives you all the comfort. Look at that, it just pops open. You put a bag in here, right? Yes, you put a bag then, right in the uh, bag. And you have like a full on toilet that can probably hold a lot of weight too. It was rated at over 500 pounds. Oh, sweet. So it'll hold. With bricks and they stopped counting the <laughs> It'll definitely hold me then. <laughs> cool, right on. So, big question how much is something like this? Our show special is 150. 150. So, like I said, selling points is super compact. And there's the bags right there, right? Those are the biodegradable yeah. plastic bags, yes. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. Thunderboxusa.com, right? Yeah. If you want to find out more. Are these made in Australia? Yes. Oh, cool. All they're handmade in Australia. The labor is Australian, the parts uh -huh. and the materials are Australian. So you can't import cheap stuff and make uh -huh. it in Australia and, and put that sticker on there. So <laughs> the wood and nice. uh, galvanized metal is all from Australia. That's a There's cool no selling plastic. point on its own, but just right there. It's like yeah. a conversation piece. It's all made in Australia. Yes, exactly. That's cool. Yeah. Right on. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So again, walking around the show, you just never know what you're going to see. And this bike rack kind of caught my eye because it's not just a bike rack alta racks check this out so if you want if you want the biggest baddest bike rack i've ever seen looks like you can hold some heavy stuff i mean look at this this suck this is not lightweight i mean that's heavy gauge steel but you can see that's where it mounts right there in a two inch receiver but then there's a big plate right there you can put all kinds of stuff here and then to take it beyond just a rack, it has this this platform for like camping. So you could use it for cooking and stuff and preparing stuff. And then on top of that, if you have one, two, three, four bikes, you can carry four bikes back here. See, here's what it looks like when it's in just, just bike mode alone. You can carry four bikes. But then when you want to convert it into a usable camp space, you can attach your camping gear on the back. I've never seen a bike rack that can do that. Oh, nice. But that's a general purpose platform as well. Oh, okay. It converts to different stuff. That's a step. It becomes a carrier. You could put uh, your jacks and shovels on and mounts. Oh, so it's like a cargo things. rack too. It is totally, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can take things out. You can put a box on there if you want nice. to. All sorts of stuff. So that's that's what we call the general purpose platform because like it. you can see all the holes. It's all meant yeah. to mount things on. But even gonna nice. make a dog bed that uh -huh. floats up and a dog <laughs> dish on the other side. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, because yeah, I mean you spend like you know six hundred bucks on a bike rack and that's all it does is yep. just a bike rack. But this yeah. this is like a yeah, camping rack. To ski and snowboard carry in the winter. Oh, that is so cool. All right, so big question is is I know that probably goes up in price because you got to yep. buy accessories. Yep. But where does it start at? It's the racks, the three carrier starts at 759. It's all built in Utah, USA. Oh, nice, all nice. The, we, our entire operation is a 10 uh -huh. mile radius uh -huh. that we build with. So it's, it's, That's very, cool. it's one of the greenest. We, we recycle a ton of stuff. Uh -huh. We use all local resources, all local vendors for our products. And then it yeah. goes up to 1185 for the six carrier. I so love it. That's cool. I like that. That's cool. I like the fact that it's made in Utah too. Yeah, yeah. I was just there. See, look at my shirt. Oh yeah, Arches, <laughs> I was just man. in nice. Arches. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Right on. What's the official website if the guys want to find out more? Uh, Altarax.com. Altarax.com. Yeah. Easy peasy. Right on. Let's take a look at the rig too. Look at they got a yeah. Nissan 4x4. That's pretty cool. The high top. Yeah, we have the gold viewers head off. Oh, nice. You can see you got 600 watts of solar panels. Oh yeah, you guys are off grid over here. Look at that. Yes, full off grid. It's nice. running a domatic fridge on the inside. <laughs> Got the lining on the side here. You don't have to worry about getting scratched yeah, up. Yeah. You can see you have a 3,000 oh, yeah. water outer. 3,000 watts off the grid. And then you got and a domatic, domatic fridge with the dual zone. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Very cool. You guys are set, man. Thanks, man. I might have to get one of these racks because I have four e-bikes and they're, they're like 70 pounds or more sometimes. And the regular bike rack is struggling with... This thing could handle that no problem. Well, yeah, a couple of them. Yeah, two at least. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Hey, thanks a lot, man. No problem, man. Take care. Freightliner fire service vehicle, four wheel drive, crew cab, tons of storage. 
It used to be an ambulance too, I'm assuming. Look at that hydraulic system for the spare. That spare tire probably weighs like 300 pounds, 400 pounds, so you gotta have a system. But look at that. He just gutted it. They didn't even really gut it much. Just kind of took out a bunch of stuff so they can make room for, there's your, your uh, composting toilet and a shower. It's nice. You can kind of see here's where the patients used to get loaded through. They gutted it all out. Got an outdoor kitchen over here. That is so cool. They, they got the uh, bed that folds into a couch. There's your generator. That thing is amazing. Oh, I would love to have this thing. That is so cool. So I was just walking around the show and I noticed a Forerunner and a Tacoma in a color I'd never seen before. That is a new color called Electric Lime. That is pretty nuts. So if you want to be seen, this color right here will definitely get you seen because it is bright. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. So check this out. This is for all you Ford guys out there. This one caught my eye. It's a Ford F550 Lariat crew cab big boy with the uh, diesel engine obviously power stroke but uh, this thing has something a little different look at this it's called liquid spring smart suspension and if you're wondering what that is that is a silicone adjustable suspension it can uh, adjust the spring rates 40 milliseconds it can adjust the spring rates that's nuts so this thing drives like an F-250, even though it's a big old 550. If you just wanted the liquid suspension though, say you have some kind of overland rig with a, with a need for an upgraded suspension and you have a big old truck, uh, the suspension is about 12 grand just for that liquid suspension. So pretty cool, right? Never seen that before. I never heard of liquid silicone suspension. Liquid spring smart suspension is what it's called. And once again, something caught my eye that I think is really cool. So let's start off with the small van. So this is like a regular cargo van, low top, that you could park in your garage. But this is made by Mod Vans, modular vans out of Oxnard, California. And what's cool about it is, is you can fit a lot of people in here still. A lot of times you get these camper vans and you can't seat belt legally more than three people, maybe four if you're lucky. But um, some of these you can set these up because they're modular, mod vans. You can set these up to fit way more than that. So like that one over there can seat seven. I'm not sure how many this one can seat. Maybe it's on here. Where's the seating? Oh yeah. So again, modular, you can seat one, two, three, four, five, six, probably seven in the back is probably what it, what it comes out to be. But you can move things around. They got these bolts. On the ground you can unbolt the seats set it up any way you want but if you need to do cargo you know one day and just carry a bunch of people you can put a bunch of seats in here on one day and the next week set it up for camping for four two sleep on the bottom two sleep on the top i mean it's very modular i like that i've looked at some vans where you're just stuck you're stuck one way as a camper van and if you want to carry kayaks bikes lumber plywood you can't use it as a cargo van these ones you can still use it as a cargo van if you want to so again the low top one let's take a look inside here so as you can see this is the low top one that you could probably park in a garage i think i'm not sure it looks like you could though see my chest it's, it's pretty low but then when you put their pop-up roof look at the size of this roof i mean it's it's tall i'm 5 10 with my favorite shoes on and i got all the headroom you could possibly want in here and then the screens it's got screens for good airflow all the way around but if it's raining you can bring down these uh plastic windows and zip them down and of course they have a cover for light as well propane stove Use your sink just enough to get the job done. Fridge, 
the storage pantry pots and pans go under there and then your camping gear under there oh this one even has a microwave too there's your power station and controls for your lights and stuff and charging your laptop I don't know what kind of power systems in here I'm sure you can put anything you want it's modular but look at this just this setup alone you could legally seat belt four people just the way it is right here so that's pretty cool that you can take four people camping as soon as you get to the spot turn off the engine and you're set there's nothing to set up for the most part just pop the roof up and you're good to go this one has an AC built into the roof it's got LED lights and this is nice here's your bed so the bed moves all the way to the back yes that's cool man I love it I absolutely love it um, so, I'm wondering how you got those wheels on there. Sure. And then, since it's an RV, you get 20 year RV financing with 10% down. They got this one kitted out for the show with everything cargo box in the back, full size spare. You got a ladder that goes up to the roof so you can get your kayaks or whatever's up there. One up bike racks, probably some of the best racks out there. He's got off road tires, the BFGs. As a look at that roof, that is so cool. Look how big that is. It really makes this thing versatile. I really like that. I could carry people, I could carry cargo. Doesn't really matter. You could, it's like a transformer, it's very versatile. Then you got this big old beefy bumper in the front with a worn winch. And you got LED lights. That's nice, man. I like that. And it's four-wheel drive. So here's the high top. So it's already got a lot of headroom. Here's your porta potty in the back. So check this out. This one's set up for one, two, three, four, five, six seat belted people in here. If you have a family of six, you're set. And then look at this. They have this uh, kind of a uh, air cushion in the front for your dog or maybe even a, a kid and then here's an example of how tall this one is so you don't really have to put the pop the pop-up roof if you don't want to just kind of hunch down a little bit and get around there's your sink storage cooktop bed you can sleep people back here and then of course way up here sleep a bunch of people on top cubby holes for storage that's nice I like it. love that roof that roof is crazy tall let's get one more shot of that before we go because it's just so cool full-size spare with a ladder look at that <laughs> that thing is tall man it's like a two-story house on wheels there you go guys to look at mod vans out of Oxnard, California. Look who I spotted, Scout Campers. Introduce yourself and tell hey, us what you got, man. I'm Kyle with Scout Campers. I'm the marketing manager here. Been working for a few months and uh, this is first time at an expo. We finally got out in the wild. Nice. We launched this brand in the uh, spring of 2020. Yeah. Right uh, at the, the height of a lockdown. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the nice thing is we've got just awesome fans online. You guys kind of helped us kick it off and learn great ideas. Yeah, you guys are all over Instagram, man. Oh. Instagram is like the thing. People just took it and ran, right? <laughs> and um, yeah. I think, you know, being in lockdown kind of helped because people got to kind of just look and feel and, yeah. and have a dream about getting outside and now we're actually out in the wild uh, these are two of our owners units we got a yoho and an olympic on display so our six foot model and our six and a half foot smaller uh, tacoma size trucks and then mid-size up to full size our unit here is only 900 pounds yeah for the guys watching like as soon as you see this you, you go wait a minute that's not wood right that's not wood it's a composite yeah wood. So it's a fiberglass shell between two layers of uh, no, uh, steel, yeah. and then we actually extrude it and CNC cut it. 
so, so it's light. You get a very light but very strong uh, <laughs> system. It can actually handle about 400 pounds per square inch of load up. Wow. So when you build the right bracket, you can mount a lot of toys to it as well. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, right now we got match tracks on the inside, but one of our big features we're coming out with is a match tracks mount. Mm -hmm. um, you can already see like the jerry cans mounted on the back. Mm -hmm. That can actually handle the double side of jerry cans if you'd like. Oh wow. Um, it's just got really strong base structure. One of the big things is it's sealed on the inside as well, and this is aluminum channeling, uh -huh. so uh, it's a pretty strong structure point. And then this is a radius, this is bent in our factory, so there's no seams. No oh, chance, nice. No, no points of failure along this bend. I like that. And this is something we don't see in the RV industry very much. Most people go with a nose that they stretch around this way, mm -hmm. and then you have this big long seam that is susceptible to water intrusion. Mm -hmm. And no pop-up, so it's yeah. quiet all night. <laughs> I mean, pop-ups are nice, yeah. but there's a lot of people out there that kind of don't want that. They just want... It's, it's a mixture, you yeah. know. I, I definitely appreciate pop-ups because Me too. it allows yeah. you to go down a trail. Um, we, that's why we really went with the radius, because we want to yeah. be able to push brush out of the way. Yeah. Um, but there's something about being able to hit a truck stop and not hear the reefers all night. That, uh, and, that or really the windy helps. nights. Windy when nights. They, yeah. And uh, yeah. we're based up in the Pacific Northwest, and our, our headquarters is in Canada. So, like, mm -hmm. we deal with a lot more cold than we do hot. And uh, wet, too, probably. And right? wet. Yeah. Oh, wet. yeah. Pop up tents and wet don't really go together yeah. too well. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're doing a lot of wipe downs in the morning. <laughs> yeah. right? uh, but this, you don't have to worry about that. No, yeah. Pop up inside. So, let's get a look here. So, again, this is a tiny camper but a tiny camper with everything you could possibly want i mean you got a what size is this bed that's a six foot bed so it's okay. just a little bigger than a double all right so you can you can fit so, a couple up here yeah. comfortably get the job done and coming in 2022 the bed will extend oh so, so out this way it'll go to like a queen and it'll cover up the, the cooler a little bit and mm -hmm. it'll pop out so that you can... yeah, at night you don't need all that stuff you're sleeping so you could just yep. take it up as a as a bed very nice right. this is also what uh you can go out here too right if you yeah, had to emergency, emergency exit, exit. Yep. now can you walk on this river no you could i I'm, couldn't but yeah you could. some people yeah <laughs> some, some people guys with my body size variety yeah, maybe yeah. not <laughs> um but on our bigger units we actually have a rooftop tent oh and okay that's the porthole to get into the rooftop oh tent. that's cool nice i like that so you don't need a ladder outside you could just go right through yep. here and go in your tent yeah and we got the newport marine heater that's cool look at that and then our, our custom colored Dominic uh, double cooktop. Yeah, pull forward a little bit. There you go. Yep. And then we do these life saver jerry cans. Oh, yeah, I got one of those. We found uh, having you know portable water solutions great because mm -hmm. if you're going to camp outside, mm -hmm. you know, we wanted to give you the tools to bring outside and camp outside when the weather's good. Yeah. And then everything fits in a nice spot when the weather's bad. Yeah. A little sink. Most important feature of the camper right there. Little opener. Get them survey sauce going. Nice. And then. Um, Obviously, a little dinette area. Mm -hmm. Give you a little feel of what it looks like to chill out in here. Pretty yeah, comfortable. Beautiful Pendleton blankets. <laughs> yeah, these are nice. Yeah. Costco, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Best to Costco. To Shout out Costco. Yeah. yeah, and all the windows, we got the blinds and netting. So we got the du those dual style windows nice. where you can just pop them and open them all the way up. Very nice. I like these. That's cool. I, this is The thing I like about these is, is that they're like little awnings. Yeah, you know, yeah so they don't let, no water ingress. In your area, it probably gets dew all the time and little mist. Yeah, well, they're double pane, so they're not too mm -hmm. bad. But the big thing is the airflow. Yeah. You know, we don't do an AC option, so when you open these up, you get a good cross I can going. feel it right oh. now. Yeah. yeah, there's air coming through right now. So this is for all you guys with a bigger truck. So basically what? Uh, six Rams, and yeah. six and a half foot, Tundras, Rams, mm -hmm. F-150s, all you guys out there. 1,200, pounds. To Matter of fact, this is a Ram. Yeah, this is a Ram, right? Oh, it's an AEV Ram. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, big boy. I like it. All right, so let's talk about this one. Yeah, so the Olympic, the big the big difference is it goes to a front dinette. Uh -huh. The table is actually removable. You can bring it outside, cook outside. Nice. Um, and then we, we switch to some of the layout around. And then big feature that's added is the rooftop tent. And there's that little hatch to get in there. That is so cool. Yeah. Man, love it. What's the, the height on this again? The this, one, this one's about 6'3", so yeah, and a little taller too. Oh, okay, cool. So you tall guys can fit in here, no problem. Yeah, and it's, we're up to about a queen size bed in this yeah, one. Size. Queen size? Yeah. Cool, let me so step in there. sleeping space. Step here, same thing, sink, cooktop, storage. There's your dinette on that side, uh, east to west. Bigger bed, you said the bed was a queen. Right? It's closer to a queen. Closer to a queen, like an RV queen. Yeah, exactly that. Asterix, yeah. camper, camper queen. There's a look at the 
So let me ask you this: that tent up there, did that have to be customized to do that? Yes. Oh, okay. So we actually work with a couple different tent manufacturers. So this is one of our first gen tents. Yeah. Uh, right now we're actually going with Roof Nest with an aluminum extruded tent. Yeah. So a little, a little bigger, a little more secure, and then we're um, we're working through some different revisions to make them openable from the inside as well. That's cool. Oh man. So big question is. Price. price how much do these things cost so i know they're up the yoho um, starts around 18 mm -hmm. and you can option quite a bit high the big thing mm -hmm. is everything's optionable right mm -hmm. but we built this with the idea that you might have your own domestic you might have your own goal zero mm -hmm. so leave that's the trend get, right now yeah, bring yeah. your own right yeah um but we do still sell them from factory as well uh the olympics yeah. going to be in that 22 25 uh to start mm -hmm. and then um, a Kenai is starting around 25 to 30. That's actually not as expensive as I was expecting. <laughs> you could get yeah. that a lot. You know? Yeah. So what do we got here? This is the Brew Trek Overlander. Uh -huh. It's got a cleaning port. So it's a French press. So uh -huh. all your coffee grounds end up there. Super easy to clean out. So then their specialty is this French press has uh, metal flanges. So it stops the brewing process. So once you push it down, it's not going to continue to brew throughout the day. So it tastes the same as when you first oh, make it. Oh, nice. So, and then it's all vacuum sealed. Mm -hmm. uh, so it keeps it warm all day long. They have larger versions of this without yeah. the bottom part and smaller ones as well. Uh, this one's by far our favorite though because of the cleaning port. Super easy to clean. I bet, yeah. So. Very cool. How much do these cost? Roughly, I know they're roughly probably all over the... Roughly 50 bucks, I think. Roughly. Yeah, oh, okay. 50. Um, and, and you can sometimes get discount codes online too. So, gotcha. Yep, well, they're right great. Where do we get them at? Fruit brewtrack.com yeah. I believe or an, um, Amazon as well they have them a couple of different places nice yeah. nice and just for the guys watching if you don't know we are at the scout booth at Overland Expo Mountain West <laughs> yeah if you guys are uh, coffee nuts check them out brew trek all right so check it out I got my hands on the Jeep quiet cat mid-drive full suspension fat tire bike this thing's a beast I've seen this online and I finally get to ride one here at the Overland Expo Mountain West this sucker has inverted forks like a dirt bike hydraulic disc brakes 750 watt mid-drive motor so tons of torque even has a rack on this one that is cool it even has a throttle too so basically kind of like a, a motorcycle slash e-bike and they even make a 1000 watt um, version of this too so you can get a bigger motor if you wanted to i don't know how big the battery is i'll, I'll probably ask the uh, reps rock shocks rear suspension adjustable air shocks man this thing is awesome i think they were saying this thing sells for roughly six or seven thousand dollars but uh they do make you know less expensive versions of quiet cat bikes but the jeep one is the big boy let's go for a ride Oh, this tank is awesome. Oh man. It's like a motorcycle. Woo! Oh. <laughs> so, probably only goes 20 miles an hour but I'm sure you can unlock it to go faster. Let's take it through here. Oh yeah. <laughs> it just floats over the surface pretty nuts. Yeah, it's maxed out at 20 miles per hour. They don't really have a track you can test this on, so I'm just going anywhere I want. I gotta see if I can get one of these uh, on the YouTube channel for for review. This thing is awesome. I just wish there was a track I could take it on. I saw million dollar vehicles, trucks, Jeeps, motorcycles, but I've never seen a Prius Overlander. I've got Black Jimmy Neutron. Introduce yourself to the world. Tell us uh, what you got, man. Um, Black Jimmy Neutron, Los Angeles, California. This is a 2013 
Toyota Prius plug-in. Um, lifted, we've got the 4,500 pound winch in the front. Yeah, this caught my eye right here. The first thing I saw was, for sure, only Prius I've ever seen with a winch. So you specifically chose the Wild Peaks or was that just yeah. random? No, specifically, you specifically. Because I could still fit a snow chain on this tire, front yeah. and back, on the Prius. And I know guys watching this video right now are probably wondering, is this four-wheel drive? It's not, no, right? No, not yet. It's just front-wheel drive, Front -wheel right? drive. But that doesn't hold you back, you were saying. No, we were talking. For Jeep. <laughs> you know, all these guys go and I told them out. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was telling me that he actually takes pictures and videos, but hasn't really posted a whole lot on his YouTube, but he's going to once he's done with all 50 states. That being said, how many states you got? 48. He's After almost this, done. I'm going to Alaska. And then when I get back from Alaska, we're flying to Hawaii. And when I say flying, when he says flying... Is that still overlanding? Or is <laughs> yeah. that overwatering? That's over airing and overlanding, yeah. <laughs> but you're going to literally ship yes. ship this over on a plane. Correct. Because if I yeah. take it by boat, it'll take a couple weeks. It's just going to kill too much time. Yeah. yeah. Versus flying it over yeah. in a couple days. And if you guys think that's crazy, it's not really because how much is a hotel every night in Hawaii? That's yeah. like uh, five hundred to a thousand dollars a night. I just need to stay there for thirty days, forty-five days. Yeah, you be sleeping, sleeping, on sleeping on the beach in your Prius. Yeah, yeah that's nice, man. So, what lift kit? Let's talk about lift kit. What'd you do to get it up? So originally, I had the Prius off-road kit on there. Now I have the Prius overlanding rear springs, and I've got like all new sway bars, end links, and everything that was supposed oh, to. I didn't know on. they made those. So the front is one and a half. One and a half. And the back is four now because yeah. so that's springs okay and that's obviously a lot of the weight is too so you oh, kind of need it cool. yeah plus i've got the plug-in so mm -hmm. the plug-in battery weight as well oh nice nice yeah. and then uh roof rack yep, that's a custom roof rack that's actually the prototype i uh -huh. supposed to have had the original or the first production before i left but i couldn't make it in time to go get it and then uh in the back i'm assuming this is a napier that napier, a napier tent but let me show you something i have I actually have this is where I keep all of my overlanding gear in. And I've got the gas tank on. Oh, as well. I see. So you got a hitch with a cargo box. Correct. And it's that's where hitch. all your gear is. The box and the rack only weigh 55 pounds empty. Nice. I've got water on the side and gas over here. So that's how you get around the uh, cargo thing. Correct. You just have it on the outside. Correct. And then there's where he sleeps right there. I'm assuming you're what, six two. one, two? Yep. Six two, but you fit in a Prius. Look at that. Looks pretty comfy too. Like it's really comfortable. Really comfortable. Like a three or four inch cushion in there? Oh, uh, six. Six? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're a big dude. You probably need, need, need that space. Yeah. yeah, it's tight space in here, but as you can see, he makes it happen. Looks like the uh, Spaceship Enterprise in there, man. <laughs> yeah, and then um, under the hood, for those who don't know, let's kind of show the guys who may not really know what's going on here. It's gas and electric, right? Yes. So it's a little tiny gas engine. I don't 1. know how many 8. miles, 1.8 liter? 1.8 liter. Um, what kind of range is it getting? So I can get an easy 420 miles out of, on gas, on the full tank of gas. On your one tank, you can get uh -huh. over 400. Yeah, and that winch is not just a novelty, it works, right? It, works, yeah. it absolutely works. I removed the crash bar, and uh -huh. this is a full steel bar crash bar replacement. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right, so you guys have seen four-wheel campers on my channel quite a bit. 6.7 Power Stroke, F350, beautiful. Uh, th this family right here, they sold their house and hit the road, and they're going to try to do all lower 48s. They're living in it full-time, and uh, yeah, it's pretty nice, man. The, these, the, the flatbed model has a little bit more elbow room than the Hawk model, like the slide-ins, which is the one that I had. Matter of fact, this one here is the one, not this exact truck, but a 3500 Ram is what I took to Yellowstone with my family of five. It didn't have this one, it had the slide in. So this is a brand new truck for the company and it's beautiful, man, look at that. 3500 Cummins turbo diesel, that is beautiful. But the uh, Mega Cab, White knuckle off-road rock sliders. Those are real rock sliders too. Bead locks. And you got the uh, tray bed. I guess you call that utility tray bed. Flat bed setup. Yeah, it's beautiful. 
Then you got some more cargo boxes in the back. Check out the uh, tray in the back too. That's actually really nice. You got the extra storage back here. I like that. Tons of room. Oh, I haven't seen this before. It's got like a, a handrail so you don't fall down. That's kind of cool. See, there is something new that I haven't seen. But yeah, that's just a quick look at Boyle Campers. Of course, I'm repping their hat. Love these guys. Got to give them a shout out. Very cool, right? It's an F-350. An older F-350. But yeah, good luck to them. They're out there traveling uh, the United States. It's Savo underscore touring. If you want to check them out. Check this one out. It's kind of like a hybrid between a van and an RV. So it's built off of a transit. EcoBoost, V6, twin turbo. Good, good on gas, good power. And you got some of the storage. You got double propane tanks. Similar storage to an RV, like a Class C, but a very small Class C. So if you're a family of four, but you don't want a humongous Class C because maybe you go to, you know, some of the older national parks that don't have a lot of room for big vehicles, but they're perfect for vans. This might be something you'd be uh, interested in. All right, let's take a look on the inside. So it's the size of a big van or a small RV. There's your dining area. You can sit the two kids over there or adults too. And you were saying it has the child seat it hookups. Does. It has tethers for both. Tethers for the kids. You could put two uh, seat, uh, car nice. seats in there if you wanted to. And then the chairs swivel around. And instead of a bed up here, you got some storage, TV, sound bar storage vent and then here's where the rv stuff starts to look familiar sink and stove cubbies microwave can i look in here yeah go for this it this thing is kind of big actually it's huge it's like i think nine or ten cubic feet. wow i've never seen a fridge this skinny it's a little narrow but it's tall it's really and tall deep. oh yeah and it goes all the way back huh yep. i've never seen one of those before that's cool and then over here is the Wet bath, right? Yeah. It's actually or is uh, it? not necessarily wet bath. So see oh, that it's dark not. gray wall there? Okay. Grab that. The wall? Yeah, grab the gray wall. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, that is cool. I've never seen that before. So now it's not a wet bath. It's This side's wet, but the other side's dry. Super smart. I like that. That is super cool. I like that. Is that a cassette toilet? It is. With okay, five cool. Well, more than five gallons of capacity. All right. So if you guys don't know, the cassette, you can unplug it from outside, take it like luggage into a regular toilet, and flush it. Yeah. Nobody knows the difference. And then you got little pop-out windows. That's nice. I can feel a breeze coming through there. And then in the back, you got... What size bed? This looks huge. So there's either two twins, or you can make it into a queen. I see. So two twins. And then you can fill this space up in the middle. Lots and of storage. And you can also opt for the pop top, which is another queen bed on the roof, basically. Oh, really? Yep, it looks wow. similar to what's out there. Let's take a look. Oh, it has a pop top roof. Yep. You can put that on this view? On this vehicle. Wow, that would be amazing. How much does this thing cost, roughly? Uh, MSRP is 163 163 That's pretty cool. It's like... A big van or a little tiny RV, one or the other. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm at the GMC booth at Overland Expo, and man, they are they are definitely trying to uh, make a name for themselves in the Overland community. Because look at this beast. This is beautiful, man. I'm not even a fan of the uh, GMC trucks, but this thing is beautiful. AT4. Look at this interior every time i see at4 i think of uh shoulder fired rockets <laughs> but yeah this thing is beautiful beadlock aev wheels vfg tires i don't know what kind of suspensions on here let's see oh this is the dssv suspension 
I remember seeing this at SEMA. Yeah, that's straight out of the uh, racing world. Rotopacks for the fuel, propane. All kinds of cargo back here. That's a fridge. We've got the deck system so you can keep all kinds of gear back here. That is beautiful. Full size tire carrier. There goes your cooktop coming out the side. Alu cab. Where's that 270 awning? And then a rooftop tent. Man, I love it. Very nice. Check out their uh, their cold air intake. It even says GMC on there. <laughs> That's nice. Kind of reminds me of the AEV style. There goes those branch deflectors. Red accents. Right? It's got a worn wench up front. It's tow hooks. Even has some skid plates down there. That's a beautiful truck, man. GMC did a good job on this one. There it is. I've seen it all over the internet. Now I'm seeing it in person. GMC Hummer EV electric vehicle. Jeez, look at how wide this thing is, man. It's crazy. I mean, the or original Hummer was white too. That is badass. I like those wheels. Some kind of air suspension. Look at that dash. I'm sure it's touchscreen. Little bitty truck bed in the back. Gotta admit, it's a nice looking vehicle. Got some tow uh, hooks in the back. Too bad we can't touch it. That's nice. So what's cool is that hell you got it. Has one. So I'm at the Alu Cab booth at Overland Expo Mountain West. And if you don't know about these guys, they make some of the coolest truck bed campers you'll ever see. They are like beefy for one, they're tough and strong, but they're also feature packed they got every gadget if you're a gadget guy like a gizmo and a gadget guy this is the truck camper for you um, they're super strong for one they mount along the uh, the rails of your bed so super strong and carry a lot of weight the top pops up so you have like a like an a-frame kind of style sleeping platform i think it's like over 100 inches long and 50 inches wide something like that and then you can put all kinds of gear on the outside they have like these panels these attachments, they're like metal panels. You can put anything you want, you name it. You can just modify it any way you want. They even have this uh, outdoor shower attachment. These arms fold in and it all packs away. And there goes their, uh, their booster for communications. I can see an exhaust pipe for a heater inside. Let's kind of walk around. There's a lot of people checking them out, but look, if you look, they got the awning that flies open gives a lot of shade look at that it's like metal molly you can just put anything you want up here any way you want and then looking inside you can kind of see storage for days they got the goose gear storage there's that heater over there i was talking about and just for standing it goes all the way up like it's crazy tall just for standing but as you can see this portion here comes down makes a bed and then that that one right there comes down and literally closes off the entire top so you could have a lot of sleeping area and then of course the roof is hard so you don't have to worry about damage if you uh, go through trees it's all hard shell aluminum 
They got flexible solar panels up there with mounting mounting brackets. Here's another one of the showers. Let's take a look inside. So here's another view. The bed is pushed up. You got LED lights up there. Check this out. Water tanks. So they're mounted along the wall forward of the axle. So pretty good placement of the weight. Lots of headroom. For moving around, changing, whatnot. Storage. Of course, you could put a sink and a stove and all that stuff, but people who camp like this usually take their stuff outside. And then, if you want to see what the bed looks like when it's actually in bed position. So, here's a good example of what the bed looks like. So, the bed's down. And you can sleep on it like that, or you can even close this one close that one off down as well and you completely closed off but yeah it's pretty cool look here's another shot of that like modular setup that's cool but yeah that's a quick look at alucab man they make some tough looking truck camper tents Look at this beast here. So this is a, a Ram diesel Cummins, say 3500. Badass truck. Just the truck alone is pretty badass, right? Got the AEV bumper, and a winch, AEV wheels, humongous tires, which is great. But this camper by Overland Expedition Vehicles, Hudson Bay Edition, is pretty slick. I've interviewed these guys before. They make some of the toughest campers I've ever seen. Look at these brackets. I mean, they're just insane. This one's a flatbed model. It's just, I mean, if you want the most toughest truck camper ever built, I don't think you can beat these guys. That's insane. Got some storage boxes in the back, uh, Zargus boxes. There's a ladder to get to the roof. Extraction tracks, full-size spare, Alu cab, 270 awning, which is coming in handy right now in this hot sun. Check out the size of the steps. I've never seen steps this beefy. I mean, it's just crazy. They got these uh, cargo rack kind of mounting points. A door with a screen. It's a pretty beefy screen too. And then you gotta watch your head coming in, but nice floor, by the way. Nice. East-West dinette. You could probably fit four people if you really squeezed in there. And a nice vent up there. Lots of ventilation in here. Here's your queen size bed up front. Sink, hot water, cold water. Two burner stove. And you got your fridge. Nova cool fridge. Bunch of storage, pots and pans. And then let's see what's in here. What's in here? More storage. And there's a toilet. Is that a toilet? Oh, is that a toilet? Oh, cool. I've never seen that. Beautiful truck. And of course, I see Auntie Shanty here. Can't get away from those guys. They're everywhere. Introduce yourself to the world and uh, tell us what you got because we got a lot of new subscribers since we last saw you. Yeah, howdy. Always a pleasure to be with Mix Flip and uh, hanging out with him. He's got some cool stuff to show you. I'm Luke with Auntie Shanty, and this is our pro model. Our pro model comes with the awning, which helps for a shade, and you have the option to zip in walls for additional privacy around the entrance. 200 amp hours of lithium. We have a version that is called the Limited that will feature 400 amp hours of lithium battery. 
a bigger inverter on that one as well. So this one's a 1500, we're gonna do a 2000 watt. So things like your stainless stove top kettle you heat up water at home with, just plug that in for on-demand hot water on the counter of your unit, off the grid. Nice, so for the guys that really wanna go off grid, this is going to be a, a camper for them. Exactly. Yeah. You'll, you'll be able to sustain off-grid living for a considerable amount of time. Yeah, especially with the solar panels too, right? I mean... Oh yeah, yeah. This, this one on the Pro, so uh, I live where it's sunny. This one will keep the fridge at, you know, full cold on both sections and run all the lights and stay at 100% just indefinitely if there's sun. That's so. a good feeling, right? I oh mean, yeah, and then you have, <laughs> you have 200 in the bank still, so yeah, yeah. Quite, quite a bit of juice. Nice, I love it. This is a prototype version. The actual production version goes all the way across, but it gives you the ability to you know, throw things in, like food storage, you got some easy access to things like coffee in the morning, just scoop it out. Uh, whatever you're into, it's all right there, nice and organized. You can get wild and nothing's flying off the shelves or yeah. banging up anything and it's ultra light and yeah. This is a good example too, because you guys are literally living in this thing. That's right, this is my the unit I personally yeah. use, yeah, so. It's got all your gear, this, this is your stuff that you guys yep. use. Yeah. Nice. So if you guys didn't see my first video two years ago at Overland Expo in, in uh, Arizona, I was blown away by this. It, it had two, what are these, queen size? Queen size, two, that's right. Two queen size beds in this thing. That's amazing. That's a huge selling point for people like me. I got three kids, man. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> this comes in handy. That would. Indeed. That is so wild. And then I didn't see this open last time. I don't remember seeing that. That's right. Yeah, we yeah. probably had it closed. Uh, was it always like probably that? Probably for dust, actually. Oh. There's, we were right off that road, so there's yeah. some dust coming. You through. had a dirt bike back then. Dirt yeah. bikes going back and forth. Uh -huh. Yeah, so right now where there's no traffic around, we're kind of in the center of the setup. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful fresh air pumping through. It's yeah, nice it comes, cool comes right through. Feels yeah. good. And then, um, again, another reminder for the guys who are new. This is not permanent, right? You can move this around, take it out, all that stuff. Absolutely, yeah. So it's a tri-panel cushion and bed platform system, fully removable. And uh, yeah, you can take everything out of here. Folks use it as a sort of yoga art studio. People work out of these things with all the <laughs> yeah. stuff removed, set them up next to their house. They have their own private space. Yeah, I think when we talked the first time, you had motorcycles tied down, right? Is that what it was? That's right, yeah. yeah. Put a couple motorcycles in here, no problem. In fact, mm -hmm. talking about sleeping kids stacked, we have customers who actually sleep uh, full-blown six kids in here. They'll do <laughs> the bunk up here on this middle rung, and then they'll roll out. Oh, I see. So on the floor bunk. is a set of kids, and then here's another set of kids. That's right. And then here, you could do three. I've never seen that That's before. Right. That's yeah, awesome. So it's a proper bunk house, really <laughs> stacked in there. That is, that is actually... I think you're the only guys that could fit three layers of people in there. <laughs> yeah, three layers of people. In such a, in such a small place. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Uh, and then the windows, again, the ones that they go out, right? They're like awning, or almost like little awnings. Yep, awning yeah. style, exactly. Who makes those? I forgot. Uh, those are turn overlands. Turn. Yeah, turn overland. That's yeah, so right. Yeah. Double, double insulated. Mm -hmm. Super nice. It keeps all the noise out. Very cool. And like I said, when you guys aren't sleeping, you can make it into a, literally make this into a cargo trailer. Like if you wanted to carry, I don't know, a bunch of wood, you could do that. Oh yeah, yeah I've moved couches, uh, <laughs> you know, you name it. it, it yeah. It, if you don't have a truck, then you now have a truck bed. You don't have to park an RV on the side of your house and never use it unless it's summer. You could use this all year round. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Versatile. <laughs> no doubt. But yeah, that's the big selling point to this is you get this incredible roof when you're camping and then incredibly low profile when you're going down the road because it, it kind of matches the profile of your tow vehicle, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then it functions as a teardrop slash square drop model. Yeah. You just pull over, hop in that queen bunk, no setup required. And yeah. you've got a great spot to make a sandwich on the counter. It's like two-in-one. If you just want to do the teardrop thing, you can do that. Exactly. It's yeah. one of my favorite ways to use it. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool, man. Yeah. So check this out, wonderfulwheels.com out of Durango, Colorado. It's a Dodge or Ram Promaster two-wheel drive. Pretty simple. This is for the folks that don't really want that hardcore look. They want just, you know, your Instagram cabin on wheels. This looks like it's ready for Instagram right from the shop. You got the, the uh, beetlewood walls, you got the white ceiling 
you got a cargo area in the back of course it comes with solar panels and all that good stuff but uh you got the inside look at the floor it's nice a nice wooden floor Whoop. and the seats spin around so you can chill out do that like that. So you can just chill out in the front. Yeah. Nice little kitchen area. Nice little therm fridge. You got an uh, induction cooktop, so no no gas needed, just electricity. Nice big sink, you know, for a little van. I like this wood. Backsplash is nicer than my house. Wooden cabinets with the uh, marine knobs. Nice little wooden storage. And there's your Instagram shot. You can park this on the beach. You put your sexy girlfriend laying there in her bikini looking out over the ocean. Just like on Instagram, you're ready to go. Lots of storage. Lagoon table that swivels around. You said there's a toilet under there. So if you have to go potty, I'm assuming this might be a shower. What is that? I don't know. Oh, is it storage? Oh, okay, I didn't know if that was a shower or not. Yeah, the shower's outside. Yeah, the shower's outside, okay. Yeah, you gotta have the shower in the back. That's where all the hot Instagram models do their showering, is in the back. There it is, right there. See right there? If you wanna buy this van and be an Instagram superstar, $105,000. Look at the size of this beast. This has got to be the biggest, baddest RV at the show. Earth Roamer HD. It is so big. This thing is huge. Oh my God. Let's look at some of the specs on this thing. Carbon fiber body, 22,000 watt hour lithium ion battery bank, 2,000 watt solar panels 6,000 watt inverter that's crazy hydraulic alternators outputting 12,000 watts of power 115 gallons of diesel 250 gallons of fresh water 125 gallons of gray water 125 gallons of black water holy crap that's a lot of water Oh, I guess we could just go up to this point here. Oh, look at that. Wow, the breeze in here is beautiful. The air just comes right through these windows. It's like marble. I think that's marble. Nice big sink. I love these windows, man. They pop out. That is so cool. Humongous U-shaped uh, dinette for the whole family. And obviously, the table goes down, telescope down into a bed. Looks like a queen or king size. It's pretty big. Bunch of storage up top. I see a wine cellar over there. More granite tabletops with the induction stove. I'm assuming that's a fridge and freezer. Yeah, fridge and freezer. You got a Bosch microwave. More storage, tons of storage. And sleeping is over there. And the bathroom and all that good stuff. But yeah, that is a look inside. That's crazy. Got a crew cab. It's got king off road shocks. This is uh, by Earthship Overland. And what's cool about it is it's um, basically made out of like a composite material, like a boat. So it's lightweight, waterproof, which is pretty cool. Usually they're made out of wood or aluminum. This one is like a boat, which is cool. And then this ladder is kind of cool too. I like this ladder. It's different. I've never seen a ladder like that before. But uh, inside, there is wood on the inside, but this stuff never really gets waterlogged and soaked or, or rots. But uh, yeah, like, like I said, this is like their base model. You put your own fridge, you can put your own stove. You do have a power management area here with some solar panels on top. Just enough to get you out camping. You got off-road wheels. You got leaf spring suspension. Here's your tie down for cargo if you want to use this as a, as a small little cargo vehicle. Basically put all your camping gear in here. 
get to the camp, take everything out. That's how it looks like where you sleep. Pretty decent, right? Basic, not a whole lot going on here other than a nice big dry warm place to sleep. Cargo net up top, LED lights, you got a little vent fan there, cargo net. You can kind of see that that composite material window with a vent. This is nice. You got a big cargo area for all your camp chairs and stuff like that. Full size spare. Pretty cool, right? I think this is just under twenty thousand for this. It's like a blank canvas to build off of. Pretty nice, right? Or if you want to go all out, if you got I don't know, 35, 40,000 bucks. This is like their top of the line. This is basically the most badass one here with all kinds of stuff. So again, it's got the uh, composite materials like a, on a boat. Really nice setup here. Lots of organization. Dometic fridge. Got a gas stove there, storage, full size spare. The door actually acts as an awning as well. So if you want to take a hot shower, hot water on demand, there's the propane that heats it up. You just turn on the fire and give it a few seconds and it'll give you hot water. Nice shower option. Look at this, tailgate and go. Here's your hot water, your sink. Wash your dishes, prep area. Yeah, pretty nice. Look at these wheels. Nice. And see here, look, this is the this is the rack thing. And then they got a big cargo area in the front. Looks like there's water storage right there. And then more storage for gear. There's your articulating connection. Same thing, doors with vents. Hello! Oh look at this. So this one has a bed on the bottom. For mom and dad and then a bunk bed for some kids up here that's cool man yeah it's cool you go up there show us how it looks look at that you could put two kids maybe even three kids if they're small enough that is cool you don't see too many uh campers with the bunk beds i like that you <laughs> like very cool then you got that rail system out here to put more gear there's that cool little ladder cargo rack and solar panels up top Full size spare, three, uh, what is it, 270 awning. But yeah, that's a look at their uh, flagship model. Again, it's roughly about, I don't know, $35,000, $40,000 for that one. I remember a long time ago, I watched a video of this company because they made a Bronco camper. The Bronco Bronco. <laughs> but they're called Phoenix. Where are you guys out of? Denver. Denver. Phoenix out of Denver. Yeah. It <laughs> makes total sense, right? Yeah. But check out this camper though. This is pretty cool. So for our first off, you can kind of tell it looks pretty tough. I mean, look at the, the build quality in this thing is pretty tough looking, which is nice. But here's another thing I like. So they, these are the only guys I've ever seen that make an aerodynamic cap in the front. So when the, when the top is down, the wind kind of flows over it smoothly. I don't know why other campers don't do that. That is genius. Why has anyone done that? before outdoor shower and there's access to your uh, furnace and then obviously here's a cassette you can pull that out like luggage and take it to a, a regular toilet and dump it and then here on the inside it may be tiny but it has everything you need look at that you got a toilet and a shower and then you got a dinette you can fit three people if you really needed to you get a stool right here you can fit th four people you got a, a heater right there, a furnace to keep it warm in the winter when it's snowing outside. You got a little tiny Dometic fridge right here. A little tiny one with a free freezer. Just enough to get the job done. Just some storage down there, some access panels. Thermostat. There's a plug-in for your uh, computer and phones and stuff. Sink. Two burners. Propane stove. Dometic and a queen size bed and look at all this headroom tons of headroom in here because of the pop top roof you got blinds to get the sun out or you can do waterproof when it rains 
or you can do just the screen so that the breeze through. You got a vent to uh, make the air flow through here. And you got an old school AC unit in the wall. Nice and simple. And then outside you got a Rhino rack bat wing, 270 degree awning to keep the sun off you. And check out the uh, windows. I like these windows. Instead of the sliding windows to the side, these pop out like little awnings. So when it rains, you can still have air come through even when it's raining and your, your uh, camper don't get wet. Yeah, I like this. Uh, this one here, he said, would fit on an F-150, basically a six and a half foot bed. So pretty nice, right? Again, I really like the build quality. Looks like it's super tough and that aerodynamic um, front cover. Pretty nice. Okay, you can start at 22 and then work your way up. Work I gotcha. Way up. This one would be 53. 53. Oh, flatbed. So you got more room. Yeah. Nice. Right, let's take a look at this one. So for you guys out there that want a little bit more elbow room, buy yourself a flatbed and take a look at the difference on the flatbed here. So you come inside. It's a little tight coming through the door, but east-west dinette for four people. Propane stove, hot and cold water, a little bit bigger fridge, some storage, some storage down there. Here's the cool part. You get a cassette toilet and a shower. You can actually take a shower. And you got a queen size bed. I mean, they pack everything in here. That is really cool. A lot of these small campers don't have a toilet and don't have a shower especially the pop top ones i love it that is cool that's kind of funny yeah but there you go that's a quick look at phoenix campers pretty cool right check it out new camp these guys make little tiny travel trailers and they didn't always make off-road versions but they make off-road versions now it's pretty cool so let's start off with the small one so here's a little boondock, a little tiny teardrop. It literally is the shape of a teardrop, like how they started. Look at the back. Got an old school cooler. It's not electric, it's just an ice fridge. They got a microwave, two burner stove, hot and cold water sink, some storage, backsplash, little awning to keep the sun off you or the rain drizzle off you so you can cook your meal. Real simple and it's actually pretty small. Looks like you got your city water connection and then to go sleep if you want to sleep nice and warm when it's windy or rainy or snowy you could seek shelter in your little tiny cocoon a nice one too you got uh, actual AC unit right there with two windows with screens you got a vent up top to uh, take the hot air out, circulate the air, lots of storage and pass through, some uh, electrical vents. Here's the thing I like. Over here you got like this moon roof window. You can actually open it up and look out. You could, you could actually crawl out of that if you really wanted to. That's cool. And then a nice big queen size bed, nice and wide. Here's your little uh, peekaboo window with some storage. See, look at that. I like that. That is really cool. I love that. Pops open. You can get fresh air. Or at night, you can look at the stars. You got some cargo racks on the top. A little bit of storage in the front. More storage here. More storage here. Traditional ball hitch. But yeah, that's a look at their little micro-sized teardrop off-road version, too. Because you have these metal fenders with off-road tires little metal step and torsion bar axles pretty simple stuff but it does get you off-road you have stabilizers on there too that's nice then you want to bump it up bump it up a little bit more this is also a boondock off-road but a little bit taller check this out so all the same things on the outside for the most part 
pop out window, storage, cargo, all that good stuff. But look at this. This is what I like. You can actually step inside and you can actually stand up in here in a teardrop. I love it. So if you're using this as a off-road like travel office, it's perfect. Fridge, two burner stove, hot and cold water, some storage, a window to look out into the world. The windows pop out for fresh air. Some storage up here. Look at this. Another thing that most teardrops don't have. An actual toilet. That is a big deal, guys. My wife hates camping without a shower or a toilet. So this would definitely be something she would like. Over here is a, in the daytime, it's like a dinette for uh, three or four people. You put your lagoon table there. Then you have a TV over here for the kids who want to watch Disney. There's a fan up there. Circulate the air. Window pops out. Again, I love these pop out windows. Love that. You could keep them open when the rain is coming down. Same thing on that side. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's called the Tab 320. Off road tires. And it looks like it has torsion axle as well. Not super beefy, but enough to get the job done. They got some crash bars back here. You can probably mount stuff onto it, but it's probably more just to keep the uh, the branches and stuff from banging up on your your uh, your rig. Yakima cargo rack for your bikes and whatever. Outdoor shower too if you want to wash off your dog. Pretty cool, right? It's got stabilizers as well. I really like that, man. Tiny, but has a bathroom and a shower. Look at those big old tires, man. That's crazy. They're huge. Fox suspension. They call this the Mega Raptor. Icon stabilizers. Look at that, man. That is huge. Very cool. Show me. How do you get in there? So you gotta well, jump on got that. Get how old are you? She's eight years old and she still climbed up here no problem. So look at that. So you got a little dinette. You can sit down. What's underneath here? The potty. Yeah, you can go potty. You can, you can still go pee or poo. And then you got water. You got a stove. How about the bed? So the bed. You can sit. Can you sit over there? A nice big queen size bed. The table. You got a little table you can sit down and do your homework, right? Yeah. Play games. <laughs> and then my dad's book. And then... Very cool. Thank you. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you for your help. It's fun. So let's fly around here. So outside, he was saying that you can put a full size spare right here. Look at that. Full size spare behind the camper because the camper's so small. All right, so check this out, Opus Off-Road. I know a lot of people know about these guys, but this is cool, man. It looks like it's extremely rugged. Outdoor kitchen. This one is a four-burner stove. Sink, hot cold water. Storage for all your utensils. More storage there. Has your dual-zone fridge by Dometic over here. This thing is a beast, man. Those Australians really know how to build their trailers. Look at this. Look at the frame. Frame is just beefy. Oh my goodness. The, this looks like a stone guard to keep stones from flying up and hitting your trailer from the back of your vehicle. Two propane tanks, two fuel tanks or water tanks. Very nice. They got a articulating hitch. Look at that diamond plate all around so you don't have to worry about getting damaged going through the uh, forest it's got a pop top roof for more room really beefy suspension off-road tires look at that trailing arm suspension they ain't messing around with those trailing arm suspension looks like they have rock guards on the uh, water tanks in the back oh here's another cool thing this bed out here it pops out so this actually slides in when you're going down the road, all compact, when you get to the campsite, you pop it out for room. And it's hard side. 
it's not a tent. You got two full-size spares that fold down out of the way. Man, this is this is mean looking, man. Very cool. Let's go take a look on the inside. Nice big awning to keep the sun off you. It's coming in handy today. I like these uh, these windows. They pop out. Nice big beefy step. Got a screen for the bugs. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. Two kids down here or one adult and one kid up here. So basically this thing comes with bunk beds. That is so cool. How often do you see bunk beds in a trailer? Bunch of storage underneath. Here's the big selling point for my wife. Toilet and a shower. All the amenities of home. Little dining room table there. And then another queen size. I think that's queen size. Might be king size. King size bed in the back for mom and dad. That is cool. You got a TV for watching your Disney movies or whatever. Storage for your clothes. More storage. Very nice. Look how beefy that brace is to keep the roof up. As you can see, lots of headroom when that, that uh, roof is popped up. I like it. This is nice. There's a fresh air hatch. You can also put a screen there if you want to. This one has a Dometic AC to keep it nice and cool in the, when it, in the summer when it's hot. This is beautiful. But yeah, that, that's nice. That's the OP15 pop top travel trailer. And once again, something caught my eye. This is a company called Bison Overland out of Oklahoma. And these guys also make a very rugged camper. Like, I'm talking the most rugged looking campers I've seen ever since uh, Overland Expedition. I mean, these guys, they do the same thing where they got all these extra, all this extra extruded aluminum, extra bracing. It's crazy how tough these things are. Beautiful. It's like a work of art. I love it. So this is kind of like their flatbed model. Looks like they only have flatbed models. Yeah, because they have a flatbed model over there and a flatbed model over here. So let's look at this one first. So this one has the aluminum walls. This one has the composite walls. So they're like a, I don't know what exactly, it's like a foam basically. But this one, pretty tra more traditional. But as you can see, they, they have the ability to build it to you as an empty shell so you can buy it with an empty shell nothing in here as you can see there's nothing in here on this side so if you want to put a table or or storage or whatever you can design it the way you want and then here's some storage with the fridge over there and then there's your red arc management system and then your humongous bed easily a queen size bed that's gigantic <laughs> look at these braces these braces are huge you're, you're not gonna collapse this roof's not gonna collapse on this thing that's for dang sure but yeah this thing is nice look at the headroom on this thing so comfortable comfortable in here nice look at the headroom on this thing so comfortable I mean, you're 100, 200 miles off grid. You got a nice, comfortable house, no matter where you go. And it's kind of nice that they do it custom. So any way you want to set this up, you want to put um, another bed or a dinette, you can do that. And then this one here, this is the composite one. So it's a little lighter. Of course, it's waterproof. And then if you look in here, you can kind of see, look, see how you can build it any way you want. It's a big blank canvas. Pretty cool, huh? Here's your fridge. There's some storage. This is a little bit smaller, but still has tons of room. 
nice big bed for two adults. And then there's your battery management system, some storage in the fridge, and your blank canvas to design any way you want. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah, these guys are called Bison Overland. Check them out if you want to build your own custom truck camper setup. Introduce yourself to the world. What do you got, man? Sure. My name is Andrew Feld, and I work at Field Van in Reno, Nevada. We also have another location in Fresno, California. Right on. So let's talk about this beast here because it caught my eye. It's got something different that no other van I've ever seen has. But uh, what, what's the base van here? So this is a Ford Transit, and it was converted to four-wheel drive by Quigley. Oh, I see the sticker. Yeah, Quigley four-wheel drive. Yeah. Yep. And so this is a mid-roof Transit with a pop top. So you nice. can bring it in here and check it out. So we actually have seating for five while driving. That's a big deal because I got three kids and a lot of vans only seat four. Yep. So it's nice that you guys can seat five. Yep, so you have two up front, three in this rear compartment. Three here. And what makes this van different is there's actually three beds in this van. <laughs> so you can sleep six. You see here, one simple pull. Now you have a lower bed. Oh man, look at that. So two people easily can fit right there. And then two more can fit right there. And it doesn't stop. You got one more up there. Hang it up here, link it up here, and you can sleep two up top. <laughs> that is by far the coolest feature I've seen at the whole show, is to have three stacks, because you just don't see that very often. Very cool. And then it has all the other amenities, right, that sure. most vans have? Yep. It has this big refrigerator here, a nice little isotherm, stocked up for this yeah. hot day in Colorado. And that's actually fairly big for a, a van of this size. Very big. Yeah. yeah. And we have a, a sink here as well. We have a microwave. Nice. This is actually a pretty big prep area. It's actually pretty good. I like that. Huge area. Yep. We have options where you can put cooktops in here, but most people like cooking outside. Yeah, you can you can get one of those portable ones. You can either cook inside or outside. Yeah. That's right. And then um, this pop top that just comes down, and now it's aerodynamic when you go down the road, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. How much weight can you store up there? So when the top is up, it's 150 pounds. Okay. When it's down, we can all stand on there, look at the stars. Oh, yeah, no really? When it's down. Yep. Wow, that's actually a big selling point too, because you get to an event like a concert or something, keep the top down, stand on the roof, go look around. Exactly. That's cool. I love it. What's going on back here? So you got some storage boxes. That's the storage boxes. These are aluminum storage boxes. Oh here. yeah, I know those guys. Yep. And back here, not a lot of, a lot more storage down here. We have the LTAC system in here. We oh, also yeah. have an exterior shower. So here's oh, yeah. shower hose. Just plug that right there and you can wash off you or your dogs or whatever. Nice. So um, if you wanted to use this as cargo, does that fold up or something? Or how does that work? This or does it always- This entire piece can get removed. Or you can just take yeah, it out. Yep, yeah, you can take this whole piece completely out if you know you're not sleeping down here yeah now you have this much room you put bikes in here or anything something in here yep. yeah nice cool cool i love it so big question is four wheel drive triple beds how much something like this costs so this one as is is right at one hundred seventy thousand dollars. 170 yeah and that that sounds like a lot of money guys if you're watching this but again if you know the market these vans just bare bones for like you get a Winnebago Revel, right? That's a hundred and it's like a hundred and fifty. I don't know what it is, but it's up there. It's above a hundred. I know that. And they don't sleep six people. <laughs> I guarantee they don't sleep six, six people. <laughs>